Stefano Pilati is back. I'm not sure if you guys are a fan of this, but this is one of my favorite collections out there. It's called Riding My Identities. It's by the famed YSO designer and somebody who I think a lot of people in the scene, a lot of people in the industry, a lot of people who like fashion will be familiar with. I'm sure if you're maybe outside of fashion, you probably don't give a F about him, but he's a really influential designer. Somebody who kind of uh, made his mark on YSO before um, um, Hedy got there, did a really good job and then kind of disappeared, took a backseat from fashion, but then now suddenly has launched this basics line called um, Random Identity, which is available on on Essence um, for the most part. And I think they, were, they did a show, they kind of presented their first collection through Essence as well. They did a show where they kind of had the models walking through the office space that's in Vancouver, I'm sure, in, in Canada. Um, so check that out as well. I'm pretty sure Essence is going to open up in London. Someone told me this. I'm not sure if it's true, it's a rumor out there, but someone said Essence is going to open up a HQ in London. Um, I'm not sure if that's a rumor, but yeah. Um, one of my favorite brands out there from Stefano Pilati, um, Random Identities. I'm going to quickly get it up on here for you guys to see. And I like the fact that um, for somebody, it's quite, it's quite an honor really for consumers like myself to have a designer of his level um, purposely putting out clothes he purposely decided to do a collection that was essentially just a basis collection, right? Um, there isn't, like, he could have easily gone out and just been, you know, designing for another, you know, brand or another luxury brand, which he probably is, might be doing in the shadows. But the fact that he, he went and decided to do a brand like Random Identities and put that out there instead is something that I would, you know, you've got massive respect for the guy for doing so. Um, this is now, I'll show you now on the screen, but there's another collection I want to kind of run you through. But remember, this is here. It's available on Essence, which is the main place I really check out for all my fashion stuff. It says the following, a little bio on it. Uh, first revealed in 2017, veteran designer Stefano Pilati's newest project is Random Identities, a collection of ready-to-wear primed for our digitized era, channeling the lessons of the dizzyingly comprehensive career across top fashion houses, among them Miu Miu, Yves Saint Laurent, and Zegna. I think that Zegna was his last job. Pilati brings a unique expertise in design, tailoring, and silhouettes to bear his contemporary work. The label's menswear oriented garments inhibit a strain of head turning provocation, provocation, sorry, which I really like. It's very queer, it's very um, effeminate. Um, but again, I like the fact that it's unisex or it's genderless. I like that. Um, most, I think most people could wear the stuff in the collection, but it also has that bit of risk, yeah, a little bit of spice on it, which again, which I think would lend itself quite well to my Bergheim outfit choice that I mentioned at the beginning at the top of the show. Um, again, Probably not for everybody. It probably won't suit a lot of people's styles, but I think if you're that way inclined and you want to get a bit freaky with your clothing, you don't mind taking a few risks, definitely your way to go. Um, so it can continue to hear the bio. Head turning provocation that is nonetheless uh, definitely controlled by monochromatic color choices and stark detail, which is again a really good point. The fact that, you know, if you would have put this stuff in a few more Atlantis colors, it probably would have been harder to sell. Um, inspired by his dress style of Pilates Berlin Friends, which is awesome because he's actually based there. The label's top trousers and outwear strike a look that balances refined, rigid cuts with everyday wearability. The online label is positioned for mass exposure. Pilates ready to wear industry collections have been partly. Duh, duh, duh. Anyway, again, I'm a big fan of it. I love everything in the collection. Again, so I've told you, very feminine looks, some nice, just sense, just kind of effeminate kind of styles, stuff that you could like this shirt here. I'm pretty sure. A more confident guy would wear that without any bottoms or just pants underneath. A nice jumpsuit, some suiting wear. I like the shorts that kind of, I like the length of the shorts. It falls just, you know, I say five millimeters above from the knee. The idea that this sort of like bra top reminds me of stuff that you would have seen from Margiela with a sort of like uh, bra, was it, was it the, the nipple top? Remember with the kind of cracked eggs on it? Was it a nipple top? Was that, was that, was that Margiela? It was, isn't it? Yeah, Margiela had a bra top. It might have been Sarah Lucas. What is, remember Sarah Lucas had a t-shirt that had like these um, fried eggs of where her boobies would have been, right? But again, I like the look of it. Very nice materials. Again, you got this sheer sort of like bomber jacket, which would look great. Like one for one on sale now on Essence. Like really great stuff. These boxy lounging shorts, which look amazing as well. You got, of course, these sort of shorts like that, which would look great. That that at Bergheim would just go, go off of course, the sort of like sleeveless 
jump suit or so hoodies will look really awesome and one of my favorite pieces from the collection are these boots that he does right so these sort of like chelsea boots that they're called worker boots but he essentially just elongated the heel reinforced the front of it so obviously give that kind of work boot style um again something that can be worn unisex and my favorite of the boots is this boot here which i think available now still is this black suede boot it's called the what is it the black suede bo3 boot right it's available in my size i'm pretty sure it would be yeah i'm pretty sure no one's bought it so far but i love the fact that it's essentially just a high heel boot with this sort of like wedge sole and you've got the look i think most boots are like this women's boots where the heel doesn't look that high but because they've sort of made it a bit before, before they because they made a little indentation on the inside a little bit smaller it's easy to walk in i think if you had if the base of the heel was smaller it would make it harder but the fact that it's a it's an actual thick heel and it kind of you know there's not much gap in between where your arch your foot would be it makes them really comfortable to wear i'd imagine so um they look amazing um i would 100 percent wear a pair and again square toe box again um i think the models on the actual in this collection wear them with a bit more with, the, with kind of like a bigger trouser like similar to this or maybe something like this at this 60s jean that kind of exposes the boot a little bit more i think it looks fucking banging personally a really really cool boot again you can see the look how they kind of you know he blends that kind of um feminine sort of look with what that he does anyway i say all this to say he's back again new collections out now uh that showed i think during i'm going to say was it milan i don't know when he showed but he showed recently um it looks amazing i'm a big fan of it i think everything in the collection looks great especially the boots especially some of the styling pieces I think, again, would lend themselves really well to my outfit choices for Berlin when I end up going there at the Bergheim soon enough. I mentioned that probably a million times already, but it's my podcast. Do I want? So, um, we've, got an, we've got like an upgrade on the sort of like brow top we've seen him uh, present. You've got this amazing sort of like chain link crystal uh, mesh thing that could go over a t-shirt, over a shirt, mesh shirt detail. Again, the lighting's not the best. I know it's a bit of a darker picture, but bear with me. I love the colors. I love the fact that you've got the belt that cinched on the that cinches the waist of the suiting you've got this great red sort of like pop on the suiting top and bottom and again i think it might be a collection that i end up wearing quite often especially some of the suits especially some of the trousers i like the look of it i think they look really cool with stuff that i want to wear this season i love the the effects of the pants with the sheer top again a nice scar cravat a nice scarf or cravat sort of style with the chain link that connects the blazer and again some really cool pieces i love that belt that he does sort of like d-ring belt that he kind of puts out there and again um i think the chain is back again as well the sort of like massive dog collar chain that you would see someone wear on a techno dance floor he's made the wedges into his massive longer boots that would look really great on men and women and again that chain link or connection comes in a ring as well now probably earrings as well i'm assuming would happen soon too nice chunky earrings and again just great styling this is one of my favorite looks which is look 10 uh you've got this black bu bucket hat amazing camel coat um with the little side pouch the inside and the boots of course worn there again just great style overall pinstripe suit which is you know quintessential stefano Palazzi style very boxy very big uh cut really well and again just great overall now the boots come in a sort of like leopard color colorway as well leopard green color which is great You've got the chain here again, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, just really interesting. Oh, yeah, see, the ring does come in. Oh, no, it's not earrings. It's a diff different type of style. But again, the boots come in the men's size and two, I'm assuming. And again, got this camo top. Just one of the great collections out there, I think. Again, does great work. Savannah Plati, we're lucky to have him making such basic pieces, I guess, for the most part, because he's super talented. He could be designing for any luxury brand out there. Name them. He could be doing it. But instead, he's making this amazing cross between streetwear and just, I don't know, contemporary wear, whatever you'd call this stuff. Like this trench here with the white piping on it. Oof very very contrast stitching is it contrast stitching isn't it more so than white piping isn't it yeah i say contrast stitching it's really really great stuff overall like great stuff tracksuit bottoms you've got nice pants here you've got this amazing sort of kill is it a kill or is this a trouser i'm not too sure um the trainer collaboration which is, i forgot who the brand was he collaborated with the trains but again nice great stuff here that work jacket is really great and again it, most of the stuff is available on sale now in essence really great collection something that i would be down to wear in an absolute heartbeat um stefano pilati random identities uh, new collection 
Full Winter, right? Is it Full Winter 21? I'm pretty sure, right? Maybe it's Full Winter 21, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I love that mesh. Oh, that one that goes over the <laughs> over the front of the trousers. Very, very risque, but I love the look of it. Again, that yellow, that color, that, that yellow color of that suit on my black skin ooh, will look amazing. And again, I'm a fan of all of it. I'd wear the F out of the entire collection. Definitely recommend you check it out. Great styling, great casting. And again, here's Madame Stosfana Pilati walking the end of, at the end of the show himself as well with the, uh, with the camel overcoat, double-breasted, white, tight pants, it looks like, and some uh, riding boots. Again, it's great collection. Uh, Sonny Pilati. Oh, he, he, oh, he pronounced he, he it at Petty. Okay, that's awesome. Definitely recommend you check it out. Again, one of my favorite collections out there at the moment. I think someone had a video here somewhere, right? Was it here? Uh, was there any here, but it's not there anymore. But yeah, definitely recommend you check it out. One of my favorites out there at the moment. What else do we have here before we end? It's an hour already. Uh, oh, there's actually a video of the show, actually. Let's check out a little bit of the video of the show. I think the song was weird, isn't it? It sort of like did this weird skip and a bounce, actually, the song itself. I think it was um what they call those songs what they what, what do you call them? Oh, it's called a certain style anyway. It was done in a certain way. I forgot where it was. Very very weirdly put together. I thought anyway. Maybe you guys don't think so, but I thought the song was a bit strange. Let's fast forward a bit. Yeah, it was like four or three tracks playing at the same time. Not sure what happened there, but yeah. I'm not gonna. I don't wanna get copyright strike with the music in the background, but yeah, that's the, this is the production. And of course, seeing stuff move in motion is always great. I think this is like when people say when you go to football games, opposed to watching it on TV, it's great to see. And I think clothes, especially getting to see how they move and hey, like even to see how the guy walks in those heels. That I want to get. You can see, okay, these are really comfortable and they'd be amazing to wear on a dance floor. I would love to wear that Panama, but I'd be all over them, man. It's such a good shoe. So yeah, recommend you check it out again. One of my favorite collections. Tyler so Plotty, one of my favorite designers out there. And again, probably in the same realm as like an Adam Kimmel. If you're like a fashion head or if you know about brands and you know about designers, you know how important people like an Adam Kimmel are to men's world, to design in general. Yeah, that, that look there with the camel overcoat and the bucket hat is just banging, isn't it? That walk is fierce. Love it all. Definitely recommend you check it out. One of my favorites so far. 